Good morning, amazing fifth graders. Um, today is Thursday and we are ready to do our lesson 29 quiz. So this is Mrs. Natzel. I'm gonna read the quiz out loud to you. Um, we've been working all week on coordinate um, grids. And so we're gonna take a little quiz over it to see what you guys remember from the week. Mr. H has done a wonderful job of teaching you guys everything and giving you guys great videos um, to learn everything. So number one says, what are the coordinates of points E, F, and G? So you wanna go in that order. So you wanna look at E first and you wanna figure out what the coordinates of that point is. Now remember, you go over first and then up. So you do the X axis, then the Y axis. <clears throat> and you wanna find point E, then point F, and then point G. So your first choice is E is one, one, F is seven, six, and G is four, eight. Letter B says E is one, one, F is six, seven, and G is eight, four. Then we have C, C says E is zero, zero, F is seven, six, and B and G is four, eight. And then letter D says E is zero, zero, F is six, seven, and G is eight, four. So choose the correct answer for all three points. Number two says, what is the perimeter of rectangle PQRS shown on the coordinate grid? Now remember, perimeter is the distance around the figure. So is it A, 24 units, B, 12 units, C, 8 units, or D, 20 units? Number three says, David uses a coordinate plane to design his model town layout. David moves the library three units to the left and two units down. He says that the ordered pair for the new location of the library is one, seven. Explain David's mistake and write the correct ordered pair for the new location of the library. So you're gonna do two things for this problem. You're gonna explain to us what David did wrong, and then you're gonna write the new coordinate um, pair or the new ordered pair for the library if he moves three units to the left and two units down. Number four. Lynn can decorate three cookies in one minute. The table shows the number of minutes that it takes Lynn to decorate a certain number of cookies. Which graph below shows the correct ways to plot the table? So time in minutes. So in one minute, she can make three cookies. In two minutes, she can make six cookies. In three minutes, she can make nine cookies. And in four minutes, she can make 12 cookies. So the time in minutes is your X coordinate. So that's the one that goes across horizontally. And then your Y is your vertical. So one, three, so over, th over one, up three. So which one of these graphs, A, B, C, or D, which one of them shows these points plotted on the graph? And then your last question, number five. Lynn decorates more cookies. She plots the point seven comma 21 on the coordinate plane. What is the meaning of the point seven 21? The first choice is Lynn decorates seven cookies in seven minutes. Lynn decorates 21 cookies in three minutes. Lynn decorates 21 cookies in seven minutes or Lynn decorates seven cookies in 21 minutes. So you'll want to refer back up to this table and go back up to where you would have seven on this side and 21 on this side. And that should help you. Um, good luck. I know you guys will do great. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to Mr. H or myself. We are both available to help at any point in time if you need it. Good luck. And I hope you guys have a great day. Stay healthy. And we miss you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.